In recent years, a new kind of government operation has come to the surface through a backdoor communication, initially on the website 8chan, identified simply by the letter Q. This has been confirmed many times over to actually be coming from the U.S. government, particularly by the President and Department of Defense. The primary claim of this communication is that sometime soon, the government will save the country in a series of events known as the storm, essentially by arresting themselves. The real purpose of this PSYOP is to keep the people, and especially the youth, attached to the government as its savior. Christianity and the Bible are often referenced in these communications, which are ideologies of ancient manipulation for continuity of the violence of statism. Popular researchers and journalists investigating Q are also aligned with the violent, alien, irrational mindset. The resulting effect is keeping people inactive where it counts, not fixing the root causes of our problems or engaging the UFO reality through CE5, but instead waiting for government to save us. Essential truths are thus being distracted from particularly that taxation is theft and government is modern slavery, and thus an enemy of freedom. The ruling class is one big club, and you aren't in it. Fixing government with government is like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. Important to mention is the launch of an organization known as To The Stars Academy by the Military Industrial Complex exactly 17 days before the first post by Q on 8chan. Q is the 17th letter of the alphabet. TTSA's goals are a slow feed release of UFO proofs, which included the first release of gun camera footage of actual UFOs a few months later. Where TTSA and Q intersect is that UFOs are a potential threat and that government needs to deal with them secretly, and you need to keep funding their clearly inadequate and ill-intentioned use of this information and technology to perpetuate their own advantage over the people. Both groups have the rotten root of government saviorism and reliance on the military, saving us from this so-called unknown threat. An illusion is then created that a secret war is going on that you can't know about, but is somehow in your interest. Another terrible result of this has been causing confusion, chaos, and division in the UFO community, which was making significant strides towards its goal. From the perspective of the UFO itself, this division is impossible. The UFO represents the oneness of nature, where all rights come from. Government does not have the right to exist. The future of humanity, and the only real, moral chance for disclosure, and the massive healing and ending of the master-slave relationship into a globe of prosperous equality, requires direct experience, or CE5, and continuity of principle, that the UFO inherently is non-violently anti-government, because it will create a world where every individual is completely self-sufficient. The blockade or embargo of public UFO breakthroughs is caused by government. The rational conclusion is to simultaneously starve government and bypass its secrecy by engaging the UFO reality directly. It is of idiotic dissonance and in contradiction with the nature of the UFO itself to solely wait for the people who extort money from hundreds of millions kill millions in wars triggered by false flags, and protect their own hegemony by ruining innocent people's lives for nonviolent offenses 
to save the world by suddenly arresting a group of the worst among them and then releasing the source of the cure for all diseases, the end of pollution, and ability for humanity to travel amongst the stars. Because the originators of the disgusting institution of government will always have control of the internal actions within it through its innate paradigm of hierarchical order following, and the president nor any other public entity or group in government has ever actually been the top boss, rather a hidden group or groups of religious and financial psychopaths from the shadows, the only way the average person can contribute to massive UFO revelations and events in our world is by promoting the complete seizing of participation in government and engaging the UFO reality itself through CE5. Together, we can let Q be the last successful operation of baiting citizens into holding on until the government fixes everything and summon the national and then planetary shift required for the UFO reality to meet humanity halfway. <laughs>